This next piece of video really caught our eye. The hockey coach caught on camera tripping a young player, no. sending him crashing to the ice. Well, that coach is in court this morning, and uh, this week, I should say, and now facing jail time. ABC's Rob Nelson has that story for us. 48-year-old Martin Tremblay walked into a courtroom this week for sentencing, fully expecting to walk out with nothing more than a slap on the wrist. Instead, the peewee hockey coach is now facing 15 days behind bars, all because of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch again as Tremblay viciously trips a 13-year-old boy during what's supposed to be a symbol of sportsmanship, the post-game handshake after a game last summer. Instead, the boy goes down hard, breaking his wrist and taking a 10-year-old old teammate down with him. That ice cold attack now leading to cold justice with a Canadian judge handing down an even harsher sentence than the one prosecutors had recommended. Well, it certainly sends a message to succeed in sports. You often have to have passion, but you need to have control. Tremblay's attorney says the outburst cost his client several construction contracts, volunteer jobs, and even his marriage, but he says he will not be appealing the judge's decision. We put in years and years coaching hockey. That's all over, so he's paid a heavy price. This is not the first time parental unnecessary roughness has been caught on camera. Assistant football coach Corey Batero was charged with a misdemeanor in 2006 after attacking a 13-year-old player in Stockton, California. Stop it, guys! And then there was this Little League brawl in Georgia where several fathers pummeled each other. As for Tremblay, he'll likely be sentenced to anger management classes as well. For Good Morning America, Rob Nelson, ABC News, New York.